Hi, this is a video about an airlift um, vacuum coolant evacuation and refill kit. This is the heart of the system right here. This will um, tighten up inside the radiator filler neck. Uh, it has half a dozen different adapters here. I'll show you how it works real quick. I'm doing this on an older rig. Normally you wouldn't need this for an old rig, but uh, the principle is going to be the same regardless. So, first off, This is your vacuum. Okay, this is hooked up and blowing right now, but the uh, overflow spout isn't covered in the net. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up. You can see we're sucking down a vacuum on the system. Here's what the hoses are doing. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and shut off this valve and hold the vacuum. You can watch this gauge for a minute. If it holds a vacuum, then you know it's got no major leaks. Usually, even when it's good, it may go down real slow. But in this case, you can see we don't have any issue at all. Okay, so then we'll go on to the next step here and just show. Okay, so that was the hard part. Now we're going to swap over the hose for a suction hose and we'll go ahead and pull coolant out of the drain pan that's sitting on top of the air cleaner. Okay, and we're still not quite full, so I've got a bottle of antifreeze sitting in the engine compartment. You can see just the tip of it sitting there next to the box in blue. We're going to go ahead and finish off with the fresh antifreeze. So the good thing about this is that because you vacuum down the system, there's no air in it anywhere. So it'll save you a whole lot of trouble um, and stress worrying about the system being airlocked. Uh, once again, on an older vehicle, not so important. For this, it's just handy if you already have the tool. But the newer the car is, typically the more you'll appreciate having this. Um, some vehicles, um, it's pretty much a requirement. Okay, so now you can see the system vacuum is at zero, so it's at atmospheric. The hoses are all open back up. Um, 
okay. So we can go ahead and pull our plug out for the overflow bottle. We'll top off the overflow bottle. And at this point, the system, we'll have to run it and be sure, but system should be full and there shouldn't be any air in it. So once it comes up to temperature, we can double check the fluid level and then take a